guys, welcome to another edition of Router 2 Brief. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click the like button on the video if you dig it, and also click the little bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video comes up. I've got links to all the aquarium gear that I use, also a link to my other YouTube channels, and most importantly, our Facebook group for Router 2 Brief. No jerks allowed. Today I'm going to talk about filtration and sump socks and why I don't use them. And I've got a lot of emails lately about the rotter tube that I made. A sump sock is filtration where the water from the tank flows through the sock, catches all the uneaten fish food and fish waste, and you're gonna to wanna to clean that sock out like every other day. Some people buy multiple socks and they wash them in the washing machine. Yeah, I know that sounds gross on the washing machine on a spin cycle twice. No soap, either just water or bleach. You don't want to put soap or soap residue in this tank. Problem with sump socks, they sit in your sump, so you're catching all the waste from your tank, and all that waste is sitting in the sock, and the sock is sitting in your water, so that waste is just still in your water, you know what I mean? and your fish are in the water that's cycling through the tank. So I never really liked that idea. So I came up with a different method. And that method is, I call it the rotter tube. Love them. And I'm gonna be putting a second tube. I had two tubes, but I gave one to a friend. So I'm gonna make another one to put in my second sump. I've got a DIY sump, and I've got my eShop sump that I've had with me since my 75 gallon aquarium. So what I like about the rotter tube is the water flows down through the hosing from your tank into your sump to get filtered and it gets caught by the rotter tube not a sock I don't have to clean anything I take the foam media out and I replace it I do that like once a week and the foam media is so inexpensive now when I had the website I was selling these things and people loved them and I got a handful of emails lately of people who've seen the router tube videos in the past. They're really easy to make if you've got tools and you can cut PVC pipe. But I'm gonna include a link, links, in the video description as well at the top. And also the first comment, I'm gonna pin it so you can see all the gear that I used. Hi, hello B. Yes, a good girl. You can use regular PVC. I like the three inch PVC. You can get four inch PVC, whatever you want. Three inch PVC works the best. It doesn't have to be clear, so you can save a lot of money. I love the clear PVC pipe. This rotter tube that I did DIY for, it sits above your sump water and it's horizontal. So the water flows down into the pipe, goes through the media, the foam filter, the water passes through it, flows out each side of the tube and back into your sump. The nasty uneaten food and fish waste never touches your sump water. It gets caught in the foam above your sump water line. I love this. There's nothing to clean. It's easy to swap out the foam and it doesn't sit in your sump water contaminating your water with fish waste, right? So I got this roll of foam. I'm gonna put that in the video description too. You're just gonna simply cut this you don't need that much so what i'm going to do is you can either double it up inside or just use one i just usually use one this stuff is awesome this one inch pvc coming off the tank going into my sump it's flowing through i just pull the tube out Pull the nasty filter out. Put the new one in. The water's gonna flow through here. Hitting the foam. It's gonna capture all the stuff and then flow right out the side. See, on the other side, like I was talking, I've got one of these. You don't need one of these, but in the beginning I had it on each side, but it does not fall out. All right, so you're fine. 
a lot of your stumps are going to be more accessible than mine. It just fits right up inside there. And I'm done. So you can see the water flowing through it, obviously. All the fish waste and uneaten food is captured. And I'll change that out in another few days. Any questions or comments, put them below. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. And happy reefing. Take care.